Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about EEPROM. So, what is EEPROM? Yeah, we know that EEPROM is Electrically Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory. It is a non-volatile ROM chip. That means it is a user-modifiable read-only memory that can be erased and reprogrammed repeatedly, which is used for storing a small amount of data in computers or some other electronic devices. Through EEPROM, an individual byte of data can erase and reprogram it by the electrical voltage. The EEPROM was developed by George Perligos in 1978 at Intel. EEPROM can be used as a replacement for PROM, that is Programmable Read-Only Memory, and EEPROM, Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory. EEPROM perform read and write cycles very slowly as compared to the read and write cycles of RAM. Here, erase and write operations are performed by byte per byte. EEPROM is a distinct type flash memory that can store large capacity data bits or program bits than conventional EEPROM devices. There are two main types of memories are available from the family of EEPROM memory devices. Serial EEPROM memory and parallel EEPROM memory. The operation of serial EEPROM memory is complicated and data transferred is serially. So this makes them slow as compared to the parallel EEPROM. Also, serial EEPROMs are less dense and are much cheaper. Then parallel EEPROM memory. The operation performed by parallel EEPROM memory is much faster as compared to serial EEPROM memory. Parallel EEPROM memory is much denser and reliable than the serial EEPROM memory. Also, parallel EEPROM memory is compatible with the EEPROM and flash memory devices. Parallel EEPROMs are more substantial and it have very low popularity of parallel EEPROM. Look at the advantages of EEPROM memory. We can reprogram EEPROM infinite number of times. The method of erasing the data is immediate and it's electrical. So we can program and erase the contents of EEPROM without removing the chip from the computer. There is no requirement of additional equipment for changing the contents. So we can erase the data on EEPROM byte by byte. Next disadvantage of EEPROM memory. There is a requirement of different two voltages for erasing, reading and writing the data onto the EEPROM memory. EEPROM has limited retention time. It is expensive as compared to the PROM and EEPROM. The serial EEPROM memory requires more time for execution. So these are the basic details about EEPROM. Thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned to watch the next part. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.